Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. There's a great article in The Intercept from Glenn Greenwald, and he talks about how he shows basically the track record of MSNBC and how they are not the liberal hippie news thing that they're made out to be. They are uh, basically for the Democratic Party, and the Democratic Party is not liberal. It's, you know, there's a lot of people with the CIA. <laughs> so he gives all these examples of how anybody that criticizes the Democratic Party, then they just bring up fabrications. They just flat out fabrications. There's this guy, um, the 16 primary, um, who was, he's Malcolm Nance, and he is openly campaigning, was openly campaigning for Hillary Clinton, and he was always brought on as an intelligence expert and former intelligence officer um, for the U.S. Navy. And he said, basically, back then, he said, Jill Stein's supporters are from Russia. She has a show on RT, so she's paid by them. She's never had a show on RT. Jill Stein then went on Twitter and was like, uh, no, never been on RT, don't have a show there. Um, <laughs> they've never retracted that since. Here we are two years later. But that's not the crux of the article. Uh, Glenn Greenwald bring this, brings this up to show that that's their history, that's their pattern. And again, it's to show that the Democratic Party is not the, the, the lovey, squeezy, you know, rainbow hippies that we think that they are to fighting the big bad Republicans. They're just a part of the whole machine. So I'm gonna read some excerpts from, from Greenwald. He said, um, A very similar event happened on Friday night involving the same MSNBC analyst. This, this, this came out July 8th. This week I traveled to Moscow to meet with Edward Snowden as well as to participate in a cybersecurity conference on a panel regarding fake news that included Alexei Venditikov, famous in Russia as a fierce critic of the Putin government in his position as editor-in-chief of Akecho... Uh, Moscovy radio station, along with Giovanni Zagni, head of the Italian website dedicated to checking politician statements, who was working with face, fake, Facebook to determine fake news. Um, the Intercept paid for Greenwald's travel, and he was paid no fee for the trip. The panel, panel was moderated by RT editor-in-chief Margarita Simonian and included Sergei now, Lobin, acting deputy director of the Information and Press Department of the Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Giving the presence of harsh Putin critics on the panel, the discussion included severe criticisms of both the U.S. and Russia governments, their propensity to lie, and their desire to control the Internet. After Nalabin claimed that Russia was the victim of disinformation and fake news campaigns, I responded by pointing out that while this was true, Russia is also the perpetuator, uh, perpetrator of such campaigns, and that in general, the history of the Cold War has continued through today, whereby the U.S. and Russia both used the same tactics against one another while claiming to be the victim. Right? So... Here's Glenn Greenwald on a panel saying Russia and the U.S. do the same crap, and they both claim victims. There was a harsh Putin critic on his panel and someone sort of representing Putin on the panel. Well, that sounds like let's actually hear all sides. After the event, there was camera crews from numerous media outlets. One of them was R2, R <laughs> R2-D2. <laughs> C-3PO was there. R2, why are you on this RT panel? Um, one of them was RT, which published the full transcript of the three-minute interview, as well as the selected video clips. The primary point I made that received the most attention, namely, that it has become regarded as suspicious, even treasonous, merely to visit Russia, and that I accepted the invitation to attend in part to combat that toxic, dangerous, and xenophobic perception. Right? So what happened? 
Malcolm Nance then said, telling his 420,000 Twitter followers that Glenn Greenwald is an agent of Moscow and deep in the Kremlin pocket. He further lied by stating that Greenwald helped Snowden defect and that he reports to his masters in Moscow. This is a tweet. Glenn Greenwald shows his true colors as an agent of Trump in Moscow. Now we know why he helped Snowden defect. Covers for WikiLeaks attacks on democracy and shills for Fox News. He's deep in the Kremlin pocket. Glenn Greenwald in, in the pocket of Fox News. Yeah. Hey, Malcolm Nance, where were you during the first Gulf War when, uh, or, or the second one? Well, there's been so many Gulf Wars, but when the Bush, the Bush, Bush Jr. Gulf War, the war in Iraq, the fake one with the weapons of mass destruction, when Glenn Greenwald was calling out the bullshit of that war, where were you? Oh, that's right. This is unbelievable. And this is just a, a, he says, Nance is simply adhering to the post-World War II tactic of the U.S. military and intelligence community from which he emerged. For decades, they accused any journalist they dislike or dissidents of any kind of being covert agents of Moscow. That's what we do. That's what we do. They went after Howard Dean. Lee Fang went after Howard Dean. Here's a tweet. Um, Lee Fang reported on the numerous corporate interests for which Howard Dean secretly shills in exchange for large payments. Everything from pharmaceutical companies to Iranian regime change cults such as MEK. This is what Dean, Howard Dean, liberal, hippie, progressive back in 2004, put on Twitter. Would be interesting to find out if The Intercept gets money from Russia or Iran. Just boom, Kremlin puppet must be in bed with Iran. This is insane. This is insane. Anyone who criticizes the Democratic Party or its leaders is instantly accused of being a Kremlin agent despite a lack of any evidence. And the organization that leads the smear campaign is the one that calls itself a news outlet. Right? MSNBC, needless to say, is not the only cable outlet that acts as an arm of a political party and encourages its on-air personalities to lie and smear the critics of that party. I have spent years documenting lies told by certain Fox News employees and denounced the willingness of some of their hosts to do exactly that while on Fox News itself. But you can't be a credible critic of lies, whether told by other cable outlets or politicians. If you only permit, but certain clearly encourage and reward your own honor personalities when they do the same. And in the case of MSNBC, they not only do this, they practice one of the most historically destructive versions of it. Fabricated allegations that their critics, including journalists, are treasonous agents of a foreign power. Unbelievable. This is what they do. As he says right here, it's because MSNBC and NBC have basically merged with the CIA and the intelligence community. The network is filled with former generals and CIA officials who are part of the community that pioneered these smear tactics of accusing journalists and critics they dislike as being traitors, spies, and Kremlin loyalists. Look at who they have on their show. These experts. They're all CIA operatives or former op former operatives. It's insane. And it's so funny how Glenn Greenwald has been so critical of Fox News and the Republican Party. But man, if he's critical of the Democrats, must be a Kremlin puppet. Must be. I'm so tired of this. He's doing his job as a journalist and MSNBC is criticizing him. We have state-run media now, guys. I mean, let's not let's be honest. Like this is and the state is the corporate state. The military industrial complex is running this. Fox does it for the Republicans, MSNBC does it for the Democrats, and both parties are 
not good for regular people. They're only good for the 1%. <laughs> How crazy is this? And if you're a fan of either one of those two big networks and think the other one is horrible, you got to really look in the mirror. This is the whole problem we have in America. People think their party is great, but the other party's bad. MSNBC is horrible, but Fox News calls it straight. You know, Fox News is awful. They're so bad over there. But MSNBC, man, they get pretty... No, 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 no. They're both bad. They're both horrible. <laughs> so thank you for supporting this show. I don't have any CIA operatives here in my one-bedroom apartment. But if I can, I mean, if they got checks, I mean, yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take some, I'll take some CIA operative money. <laughs> I'll get a new surfboard and like a more powerful vegan smoothie maker. That's what I would do with my CIA operative money. So maybe I'll add a CIA operative tier on the Patreon. Yeah, for like, uh, you know, 10 grand, you can be, you can give me your CIA talking points. <laughs> All right, guys, new Patreon tier. Thanks for watching.